This is lesson 9.3, Rotations. Your objectives are to draw rotations and to draw rotations on the coordinate plane. A rotation is a type of transformation that just spins something around. You turn it around, and you will turn it around a specific point, and that point is called the center. It's important to pay attention to the point that you're rotating around because all of your rotations and movements need to occur with respect to that point. It's also important to keep in mind that a complete rotation in a full circle is 360 degrees. And each quarter of that is a multiple of 90. 90. 180, 270, and then 360 degrees for a full circle. Pay attention to the amount that it says to rotate, and if it doesn't say which direction, go clockwise. But if it says to go counterclockwise, make sure you do that. Graph each figure and its image after the specified rotation about the origin. Notice we're rotating about the origin. So that will be our reference point to each piece that we rotate. Triangle PQR with vertices P1, 3, Q3, negative 2, and R4, 2 and we will rotate it 90 degrees. Let's start by drawing the first triangle. I'll draw the pre-image in blue. Triangle PQR using the vertices they gave us. I'll draw the image in red. Each point is rotated 90 degrees. Remember, rotate the points and then connect the dots. What we're going to do here is look at where each point is from the origin, because that's the center that it said to use. And then we will rotate and redraw it. To begin, Point P is at 1, 3. Now, if I turn 90 degrees, that's a quarter turn. If you turn your head to the right, you can see what's happening here. And I'm going to use point P. And from the origin, I'm going to go 1 to the right and 3 up. And point P prime will go right there. Now, do point Q. It's at 3, negative 2. Turn your head to the right 90 degrees. From the origin, go 3, negative 2. And there's Q prime. Finally, point R is at 4, 2. Turn your head 90 degrees. From the origin, go 4, 2. And there's R prime. Now I can connect the dots. And my rotation is complete. If I look at the blue triangle, the pre-image, and then turn my head 90 degrees to the right, I can see that it still looks the exact same shape as the first one is. If you rotate and it looks like the shape has changed or the size has changed, you might have made a mistake. So always double check and always make sure you're going from the center point and using the same distance away from that center point to make the new points. Triangle ABC with vertices negative 4, 4 for A, 
negative 2, negative 1 for B, and 2, negative 4 for C. Connect the dots. And I'm going to rotate 270 degrees. So every point is going to go three quarters of the way around. So technically, I could tip my head to the left 90 degrees because 270 degrees clockwise is the same as 90 degrees counterclockwise. So really, I'll be tipping my head a quarter turn that way. So use each point. Remember, we're rotating from the origin. A is at negative 4, 4. Turn your head to the left from the origin. Go negative 4, 4. There's A prime. Point B is negative 2, negative 1. Go 270 degrees, which is really a quarter turn to the left, and go negative 2, negative 1. B prime is right there. Point C is 2, negative 4. Rotate. Go 2, negative 4. And there's C prime. Draw the new triangle. That's definitely the same shape. It's just rotated 270 degrees around. And remember again, you can use this tip if you're going 270 70 degrees in one direction, really turn it 90 degrees in the other direction. A ceiling fan has five equally spaced blades. Find the angle of rotation that maps one blade onto the adjacent blade. Well, let's imagine what this would look like. So I'll draw a ceiling fan with the five blades. And if I want to rotate this so that this blade lands perfectly on top of this blade, what's the angle of rotation? Well, remember, a full circle is 360 degrees. I'm not going that far, though. I'm only going one-fifth of it. And one-fifth of 360 is going to be 72 degrees. So a 72 degree angle of rotation will put one blade onto the adjacent blade. Remember when you rotate, rotate it about the center, move each point using that same center, and then connect the dots. Remember that your image should look congruent to the pre-image. It's just turned around. If it looks like the shape changed, maybe it got smaller or opened up wider or something, double check your new points because you might have made a mistake. So rotate each point, then connect the dots.